I'm going to be showing you the locations of all the mini kits and how to do all the challenges in the Hibernation Station level of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga's The Empire Strikes Back. So let's go ahead and get started. So at the start of this level, you're going to want to make your way to the right side. There's going to be a protocol droid panel, so switch to a protocol droid. Hack this to get the password to the Cloud City Dining Room, which is going to be located right at the spawn. So we're going to walk all the way back to the spawn and hack the other protocol droid panel there and input the Cloud City Dining Room password. And that should give you access to the room, which has a mini kit on top of the table there. So let's go ahead and collect that. Boom. That is mini kit number one. So mini kit number two, we're going to head back to where that first protocol droid panel was. And across from that is an astromech droid panel. So switch to an astromech droid. Hack this, and that will give you access to this room. Move over here to the right side and switch to either a hero character or an astromech droid character. To pull down this box, and inside the box is one of these blue batteries that you see throughout the game. So we're going to pick this up and carry it back over here down the hallway. And put it there, and that should give you mini kit number two after a brief cutscene there. Boom, there we go. So mini kit number three is going to be sort of in the middle of the map here. And there's going to be another protocol droid panel, so we're going to open this up. This will allow you to take control of the droid that's inside here. I guess this is a pit droid, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. And uh, so once you get access into this room, there's going to be a bunch of junk. Destroy the junk on the right-hand side, and that's going to give you a buildable. And this buildable is going to basically get this conveyor belt moving. So that's kind of what you want. You want everything to fall into the furnace of the conveyor belt. So destroy the debris on the conveyor belt. Once everything falls into the furnace, mini kit number three will pop out. So mini kit number four is on the top left side of the map. You just need a hero character, so we're going to switch to that and hack this hero character panel. And once you do that, you're going to get a brief cutscene, and there's going to be a box that comes up, so we're going to move this. And don't blow yourself up like I just did there. And once you move the box into place, you will get mini kit number four. So next up for challenge number one, disguised as a stormtrooper, loot a weapon crate. So to disguise yourself as a stormtrooper, defeat a stormtrooper and equip all of their clothing, their leg piece, their torso piece, and their helmet. Then you're going to go over here to sort of the middle top right section of the map where this red force field is. We're going to get past the red force field. And on the left side, as your disguised clone trooper character, we're going to hack this weapon cache. And as soon as you do that, you will get challenge number one complete. So next up, we're going to do mini kit number five, which is on the top right side of the map here. And it's going to be one of these broken elevator doors. If you look up, you can grapple up with a hero character or an astromech droid character. That's going to pull down this switch. Once you do that, uh, after a few seconds, it should fix the elevator door, allowing you access to mini kit number five. So we still have two challenges left. So the second challenge is to build the Dejaric board, I guess is how you say that, uh, to distract the stormtrooper. So there's going to be a multi-build on the map where I showed you there. And the left multi-build is for this Dejaric board. And build that, and that will distract the stormtroopers, giving you challenge number two. So the last challenge is to activate the secret turret with a gonk droid. So this is at the very end of the level as you're defending the Falcon. Ride a gonk droid over there onto that secret panel and that will give you access to this turret. And that will give you challenge number three. So that's going to be all the mini kits and all the challenges in the hibernation station level of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. Subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.